Well hello, you join me today because I'm going to talk to you about the fantastic new Edges camo ranges, what comes in the kits and the various different kits that we do and more importantly how we go about setting them up. I'm going to show you how to go through the lead clips and the various different ones that we do, the running rigs and the heli drop offs and the heli buffer sleeves and bits and pieces like that to show you how to get the best out of those systems and more importantly make the most of them whilst you're out on the bank fishing. Right, the first bit I'm going to go through today with you from the Edges Camo range is the lead clip kits that we've got in the range. There's three different ones that we've brought into the Edges Camo and they all come as complete kits. We've got the slick kit, the safety lead clip kit and then the power grip kit and I'll go through each one individually but all of them work on the same principles. In each kit you get the tail rubber, the actual lead clip, the T-bar that we use for securing the swivel in place and you also get the quick change swivels and the tail and the anti-tangle sleeves as well so that you can open the packet, set them up and be fishing with everything that you need to fish effectively and get your rods out there and presenting. So in the lead clip range as I've already referred to there's three different packs, three different kits within the range, the power grip, the safety and the slick. The power and the safety are both based around the size 7 swivels so they're the bigger clips in the range. Both have serrations on the arm to slow down the release of the lead on a bite or, on a, or in weed or in snaggy situations. They will eject safely, but they just slow down that process slightly. The safety clip is, a, is as it says, is, is a safety clip. There's a T-bar in there to secure the swivel in the, in the housing of the clip if you want, meaning that, there's, that it's a fixed system so that the lead ejects every time. The power grip is um, designed for heavier lead situations. So obviously if you're casting with a heavier lead, the power grip in the tail rubber or the, the power grip how it's designed means that there's less chance of that lead coming off and it also means that there's more chance of the lead staying on longer on the bite, which in, in some situations will lead to a far better hook hold and more efficiency in, your, in how you're fishing. Now the slick um, is a slightly smaller version of the power and safety lead clips and it's based around size 10 swivels. Again, they've got the T-bar which secures the swivel in place in the housing of the lead clip. Um, there's no serrations on the arm on a slick clip so what that means is the lead will come off far easier so on the bite or as soon as it comes into contact with weed or snags or whatever um, that lead will discharge, discharge even far quicker and because of the size difference it is slightly more unobtrusive on a lake bed it looks that little bit subtler so in crystal clear water or you, the, the, just the nature of the spot you're fishing or whatever the slick clip could come into its own over and above the power and the safety. As I've already referred to, each lead clip in the range comes as a, as a complete kit now. So each kit has the tail rubbers, the lead clips, the quick change swivels that are the right size for the lead clips, the T-bars to secure the swivels and the anti-tangle sleeves. So you don't have to go around the tackle shop picking a pack of this, a pack of that, a pack of the other like you have to. You can just pick up the kits, get down the bank, get them set up and get fishing. And what we'll do now is we'll show you how you set them up. Right, what I'm going to do now is run through how to set up the lead clips. I'm going to set this up on rig tubing because of the fishery rules of where we are today, but these lead clips can be used on lead core, on lead core systems and on submerged lead free leaders as well. It's exactly the same process every time and they can also be used with a naked main line as well. We do the naked tail rubbers to fit the slick clip and the power and safety lead clip kits as well. Um, the only difference being the tail rubber is elongated so it's longer, starts at a finer diameter working up to fit over the actual clip as well so it streamlines so that you prevent tangles because there's no ridges or big differences in diameter, it's all nice and streamlined to fit together nicely. But as I say this is going to go on rig tubing because of fishery rules but each lead clip is the same process. So I've got the rig tubing and my main line, then it's the tail rubber, so narrow end up to the rig tubing and then just slide the rig tubing into the narrow end of the tail rubber. Next on's the lead clip. So main line through the barrel and then out the thicker end, which is where the swivel gets housed. Quick change swivel, which is part of the kit. I just always use a once through the I5 turn grinner knot for this. It's done me proud for 20 odd years, so I don't see the reason to change it. Just always make sure you moisten that knot down before you tighten it up properly. Make sure the barrel of the knot's sitting down nice and neat. 
trim the tag end. Then the eye of the swivel into the lead clip. Now you'll see when it's lined up with the hole in the clip that you won't be able to see any of the eye of the swivel. That means the T-peg will easily be able to push into place like so. So that swivel's fixed in there, meaning that whenever there's any momentum on that and the lead either hits weed or snags or on the bike, the lead will come off because that is moving, whereas the lead due to its weight will stay still or because of the tension of the snag or weed or what have you. Lead on to the arm. Moisten both parts down of the lead clip, so the arm and the tail rubber, and then that fits on nice and snugly like that. And there you go. As I said, as part of the kit, you get the camo edges tail rubbers. So I'm just going to thread that onto the hook link of my choice. Then a nice quick loop to loop onto the quick change swivel, and then the camo edges tail rubber slid over the quick change end of the swivel and there you are ready to go and catch you a carp well we're obviously here to show you the new edges camo um, I put a bit of bait in probably an hour and a half ago whilst me and Sam did some of the to camera bits with the new stuff and then this rod's been out 15 minutes and it's just rattled off I did a bit of a trick with the hook bait though and super boosted the hook bait so <laughs> don't feel like a big one but it's a bite and that's what counts. Oh look at him. Oh super cool. Come on. As you can see there the lead's off, there's a bit of weed around it. And that's the new Slick Edges camo clip doing its job. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oi. I do. <laughs> well, there we go. Proper angry low double mirror. Absolutely gorgeous fish, this one. The slick lead clip did its job. This one made a beeline for some overhanging willows from a, from a low lying weedy spot, so getting the lead off was imperative. And as you saw when it went in the net, there was quite a bit of weed around its head and stuff, but the hook hold was secure. And the fish has come in safe and sound. Hopefully that's proof of the pudding of what the clips can do and help you in your angling. As I've said, the lead clips are usable on lead core and submerged lead free leaders as well. What I've got here is a pre-spiced submerged leader, just so that I can show you how they go together. Got the power grip lead clip, just going to slide that on to the submerged leader. As I said, it's pre-spliced, so down to the swivel, swivel into the barrel as we did on the slick clip, and then a T peg into place, like so. And then same with the tail rubber. It's just easier popping them onto a splicing needle to slide them onto pre-splice leaders. And then all the way down again. Lead onto the serrated arm. Let's give that a moisten down. And there we go. That's the power grip version on a submerged leader, which is the lead free version that we do and that'll work just as well on lead, on lead core as well. Helicopter setups are a really versatile setup and I use them a lot in my fishing. I use them when I'm fishing in really heavily weeded situations or when the lake bed is really, really silty. There are a number of reasons why, but it's all to do with the versatility of the height of the, stop, of the stopper bead or the top bead, however you want to call it, and how far you fish it up your main line or up your leader. 
depending on the depth of weed you're fishing over or the depth of silt you might be fishing in. So in the Edges camo range we've got the drop off heli buffer beads which allow you to fish a helicopter in the camo pattern and we can fish them as a drop off or as a fixed lead depending on what situation you find yourself in. Brilliantly versatile, all the bits you need to be able to fish them either naked or on a leader come in the kit as well so that it's once again pick it up off the shelf and away you go and we'll show you how you set them both up now. So what I'm going to talk through now is how to set up the um, naked heli setups um, using the, the Edges Camo heli drop off buffer beads. So to start with I'm going to thread one of the 6mm Edges Camo um, tapered bore beads onto the main line. So that's going to go on narrow end of the bore first. Then I'm going to thread on one of the tungsten mainline stoppers, which is what the bead will ultimately sit on. Next, quick change link from a hook link, and then the edges heli buffer kit. What I've got here is the sleeved version, which sits on top of the actual heli buffer bead. If you're using it on lead core or submerge or anything along those lines of any kind of leader, there is another cap in the kit which hasn't got the tapered sleeve in. That tapered sleeve acts to protect your main line from the swivel whilst it's rubbing or whilst you're playing fish. Um, obviously with lead core or submerge type leaders you haven't got that issue. So that threads on next. If my myopic eyes will let me see it, there we go. And next is the actual bead part of the helicopter drop off. Five turn grinner again. One, two, three, four. Moisten the knot down as always and then pull it down into the half swivel which is fixed into the top of the bead like so. Trim that down. And then slide the top of the buffer bead down. And pop that into position. Now as you can see the quick change swivel sits on the sleeve so that will protect the main line when you're playing a fish. And then the bead sits on top of the main line stopper like that. So you can set that depth, whatever you want it to be, away from the lead system. And then during a fight, if the fish gets in weed or whatever and you end up losing it, or you end up, more importantly, if you end up having a cut off or whatever, that bead will easily pop off that stopper so that the hook link can come free. Now, as I've said, you can fish this with the lead fixed, or you can fish it so that the lead to eject. And I'm going to show you how to set it up for the lead to eject. So basically take the swivel of your fox lead, push it into the, to the casing at the base of the bead, and make sure the eye of the lead is through the hole that you can see there in the bead. If you want to fish it fixed, there's the T pegs which push in, which come as part and parcel of the kit, or to fish it drop off to prevent it falling off on the cast or what have you, we do the PVA strips. And all we do is we thread the PVA strip through and then trim it with a pair of braid blades. And there you go. PVA will obviously dissolve whilst that's in the water. And when you get a bite, a fish hits weed or a snag or whatever, then that will easily pull off like so. Right, also in the Edges camo range, we bring you two running rig kits. One of them is affectionately known as the run rig kit, which is exactly what it says on the tin. It's designed to give you a friction-free running rig system. In the kit comes the buffer bead, the run ring, and the speed clip, so that you can set the system up, attach your lead, obviously set it up on the main line and be fishing. 
Run rigs are a brilliant, brilliant weapon in your armoury that is so underused in today's carp fishing. I love a good run rig and they create so many opportunities and I think on waters that see lots of fixed lead, semi-fixed leads in lead clips etc, run rigs really do come into their own. And also in the range of run rigs is the angled drop-off run rig kit. So if you're fishing a weedy lake or a snaggy lake, you can still use a run rig and drop the lead, which has been one of the biggest issues with run rigs for years. The guys at Fox have overcome that and it's been in the range for a while, but we've also brought it to you in the um, Edges camo range as well. So I'll show you how to set those up as well. Right, what I'm briefly going to do is go through how we set up the run rig kit and the angle drop-off run rig kits. Both really simple and straightforward and I'm going to show you on leaders um, how I go about doing it. I'm going to start with the, with the run rig kit. So first of all, take the shocker bead and what we want to do, just because I'm putting it onto a pre-spliced leader, is thread it onto a splicing needle. You want the end with the large bore to go down the leader first onto the swivel. Now these work on size 7 swivels, so that pulls in there nice and snug. So it sits up against the swivel like so. Obviously got the shocker bead up against the swivel and as I've said they're size 7 swivels. And then, simple as that, away you go. As it comes out the packet, nice and simple and then you get your resistance free run rig set up. And the next one, I'm going to show you on a on a submerged leader, is the um, angled drop-off kit. Slightly different buffer bead, and as you can see, that's angled so that when the run ring clip sits flush against it, you end up with a lovely smooth sort of face so that you don't get tangles and bits and pieces. So, I'm going to thread that onto a needle, onto the submerge. And again, that's onto a size seven swivel. So it's nice and snug. And then the actual run ring bead itself gets threaded on nice and simply. And as you can see, because of the angle in the buffer bead, you end up with a nice flush size, like a nice flush side even, so that the hook link's gonna come out straight off the back and that's not gonna tangle when you cast in, etc. Um, once again, we've made these so that these are drop off, if you wish. So, at the front of the run ring bead, or the, the, the run ring actual bead, you can see there the hole, the T peg will push into there through the eye of the swivel, securing that in place. Also, if you want it to fish drop off, same as the heli buffer bead, put the PVA tape, or PVA strip through there instead of the T peg. And then once that PVA is dissolved, that lead will pull off there nice and easy, leaving you in direct contact with any fish that you might be fortunate enough to hook. Right, here we go. Another mid-double and another absolutely gorgeous scaly one. Rattled off on the right-hand rod probably five minutes ago now. Um, just shows you what the edges camos can do. Be adaptive, choose the right one for the situation and you'll get the results that you deserve. As well as all the other lead systems we've talked about, inlines play a massive part in my carp fishing. They're a really effective presentation, but there's three really distinctive areas of carp fishing that I like to use them in. Those being PVA bags, solid bag fishing, in the edge, sort of marginal spots or stalking, or really rock hard, clean gravel spots out in the pond. And there's a couple of ways of doing it and we're gonna go through those with you now. Right, I'm just going to run through the Edges Camo Tadpole insert stem now, which is obviously Edges Camo material and colouration, and it's a tapered stem, so it narrows at the top down to the size um, 7 swivel housing at the base of the lead, and that is where the back of the lead will sit. Nice and simple, all we do is take a standard Fox inline lead, take out the original insert, and then once this is set up on the main line, so thread your lead on first, then the tapered, um, edges camo tadpole insert, so mainline through the top end, out the back, which will then sit into the back of the lead, and then a size 7 swivel attached with your favourite knot and pulled snug into, snug into the housing even. 
The difference is between a standard insert, which is how this is set up, means that that lead is semi-fixed. So that lead will always stay snug to the swivel unless that that gets snagged up or weeded up. Then it will pull out and allow the lead to come off in the event of a breakage or what have you. This is where the clever bit comes in for the tadpole inserts. You can either fish it snug, as you would do off the shelf, with that pulled tight to the back of the lead, as so, or there's a little retaining lug a couple of mil away from the base of this insert, which sits snug against the back of the lead, and what that creates is a shocker system. So, as I've already talked about during these little clips, we're talking about running rigs being friction free and not giving fish a pivot point. So what happens in this case is the lead, obviously if the fish picks up the hook bait, that is semi fixed at that point. So that creates enough tension to set the hook. Fish shakes its head. Because of how the system works, the lead becomes free running so that the main line can pull through freely and frictionless so the fish hasn't got anything to pivot against, which in my opinion is a massive edge running type systems and, and shocker type systems like this aren't utilised enough in my mind with people fishing semi-fixed on lead clips and that can give you a massive edge in the right situation. In the Edges camo range, we've also got the drop-off inline lead kits, which come as a complete kit with the inserts, tail rubbers and the, um, the plugs to house the swivel in the base of an inline lead. And I'm going to show you how we set them up in a second. Inlines are brilliant, obviously, for when you're solid bagging um, and for also when you, you're fishing margin spots and bits and pieces like that. They're the situations I prefer them for anyway, and having the ability to drop the lead is a massive edge. So I'm going to show you now what's in the kit and how to set it up. Right, first of all, I've got a submerged um, lead-free leader, which has already got a quick change swivel spliced onto the end of it. What we do is we take the plug and then insert the swivel into the cavity. And then there's a pin which drops through the preformed hole, which lines up with the eye of the swivel. So that secures the swivel in that plug. That then goes into the back of the lead, like so. Submerged leader will run round the groove in the inline lead that I've got for the demonstration. And then we've got the camo edges insert section, which goes onto the leader next. Like so. And then that sits in the nose of the lead, just like that. Then it's time for the tail rubber. And as with any lead system, just moisten it before fastening it on. And there you go. And in a fishing situation, should that become weeded up or snagged or even on the bite, shake of the fish's head or gets caught in the weed, system pulls free, plug comes out the tail of the lead, the insert comes out the nose and then you're in direct contact with the fish. He's the biggest of the trip, coming in at just over £21. He's obviously a grumpy character. He didn't fight too much actually on the way in, um, hence why he's giving me a little bit of a, a little bit of an hard time right now. This one fell um, to a little pop-up rig, my little D-rig, on the um, Edges Camo heli drop-off system again. Fish naked as we showed you how to set up, with the top bead probably a foot up above the lead because of the nature of the low-lying weed around the spot that I'm fishing. Led to this one safely ending up in the bottom of my landing net. Proper grumpy little character this morning, this one. <laughs> 